So McRib is a sandwich created by McDonald's and they took it off the menu in 1985 because it wasn't like selling or doing well. And now every time they put it back on the menu, it like crushes and sells out immediately. What's up everyone? I'm Calvin Ng. I'm the chef and owner of Bonnie's, which is a Cantonese American restaurant in Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a cha siu McRib sandwich. We're gonna make our marinade for the McRib. So it's a basic cha siu marinade. Cha siu is just the common Cantonese way to make barbecue pork. We'll start with the garlic. Then we'll take a nub of ginger. We'll add a little brown sugar. And we have some hoisin sauce which is a sweet Chinese barbecue sauce made from uh, beans. A little bit of ketchup. A lot of times people put red food coloring in their cha siu marinade, but I'll use ketchup and uh, red tofu instead. So red tofu is basically just fermented tofu, fermented with uh, red rice. So the color is very natural. And it also has like a briny umami flavor that's also really nice with it. So I'll add that in. Next, I'll add in some maltose. It's a fermented malt or rice product that's very sweet and kind of difficult to work with. So I would just zap it in the microwave for a few seconds before using. This is something I grew up eating on like a wooden stick as like a snack, like a lollipop. And they also sell these like on the streets that people make. For the soy sauces, we have two different soy sauces. We have light soy sauce and dark soy sauce. Light soy sauce is usually a lot saltier than dark and dark a lot of times is mainly used just for coloring. So I like to use both just to balance that out. But, and then finally, we're gonna add a little MSG because MSG makes everything better in my opinion. It's a flavor enhancer. I think it takes food to the next level when you use it properly and don't overdo it. And there's clearly nothing wrong with it. I'm a big fan, as you can tell, MSG. And then if all the marinated greens are in, we're just gonna blend it up until it's smooth. Next, we're gonna prepare our ribs for this. So I'm using baby back ribs today, but you can use any type of rib that you prefer, or any type of rib that you can get your hands on in the markets. I like it because it's a lot easier to work with after they're steamed. You just, there's just one bone that you need to remove. St. Louis ribs are also perfect because St. Louis ribs are basically cleaned up, spiffied up spare ribs without the cartilage and smaller bones on the bottom. But so any of those will be great. And then for each rib, there's definitely going to be silver skin still attached. And you want to make sure you remove that silver skin before you marinate, because you want to make sure the marinade penetrates into the meat throughout overnight. Just get your knife under there. If it gets super slippery, you can use a towel or paper towel to help you remove it easier. But every time I do this, I kind of just kind of pretend that I'm like removing a sticker off like a glass bottle and the goal is to like remove it all in one piece. But it usually never happens. Just throw the ribs in here. Make sure it gets all around. And you wanna make sure you save some of the marinade because you're gonna need it for the glaze later. Just leave it meat side down, bone side up. So I just refrigerate this overnight. So now that these ribs have been marinating overnight, they're ready to get steamed off for 90 minutes. When you lay these down, just make sure you lay these meat side down, bone side up. You can put them on a tray if you'd like. Um, if you don't have a steam steamer set up like this, you could also do this in, in a regular oven. You wrap them in foil, each individual piece, and pop them into an oven at 350 for about two hours and it'll give you the same effect. But if you're doing this method, just make sure you have enough water at the bottom or check periodically so it doesn't all evaporate. But we'll just let that go for 90 minutes. So they've been steaming for 90 minutes now. Just kind of just want to give the bones a little wiggle and see where they're at. And they honestly look perfect right now, so we could go ahead and remove them. So oftentimes when you get the McRib, you'll notice that it's like a molded, molded meat, meat patty. But this, we're using real ribs, so there's gonna be real bones. So I just like to do a small little incision right on top of the bone, and then give it a little twist, and it'll come right out. So that way the meat will still stay intact underneath. So once all the bones are removed, just get another tray the same size, and just squish it on top, 
lay something heavy on it, and then just pop it in the fridge for about two hours. And then all the gelatin and the marinade and the collagen will kind of set and it'll form like a nice little whole meat patty that's fully boneless. So while the ribs are in the fridge setting and cooling down, we can get the garnishes and the sauces and everything ready to assemble once they're ready to go. We'll start with our uh, pickles. Our for onions, you just want to slice like if you were to do onion rings. And then while you're doing this, you want to make sure you have uh, ice water ready because we're going to soak them for a little bit to kind of remove some of that oniony bite that you don't want. Because just because we have the hot mustard and everything as well, you don't want it to be too overpowering. Favorite fast food dish is 100%. French Wrap Supreme from Taco Bell. No doubt about that. Next, we'll make our mustard sauce for this. It's super strong, super pungent. I kind of compare it to wasabi if you've never had it before, like shoots right up your sinuses. So we'll just start with a little mustard powder, a pinch of salt, a little rice vinegar, and a little cold water. This will taste different after it settles a bit. It'll definitely mellow out as it chills. So next, we'll make the glaze which is basically just two parts of the marinade that we had left over before, some honey and uh, maltose. So now we can start assembling our McRib. So after the onions have been soaking a bit, I kind of just like to take them out of the ice water, give them a little dab. And then for the buns, I like to just get these buns from the Chinese bakery. These are called like Ju Jai Bao in Chinese, but if you can't find them, any type of soft buns that you like are cool. As long as they're like oval shaped, to kind of hold all the rib. So just slice these in half, get this hot, slather some Kewpie to help it brown, be super generous with it. So yeah, you just want to toast the buns just like this, get them nice and brown, and just leave it aside for now while we uh, get the ribs ready. So let's check on the ribs now. After they've chilled and set, just gently scrape one off, flip it over, and the marinade or the glaze that we made earlier, just slather it super generously. And all those sugars will like create all these little burnt ends and burnt bits, which is gonna be super delicious. All right, so now we just pop this in. If you're using a broiler at home in your oven, I just like to treat it like a salamander as well. Just leave the door open because it all happened really fast. So after it comes out, it should look like this. Heat it through, glazy with some burnt bits. So now we could just start assembling. So first I like to slather some of this hot mustard, but make sure you taste it again now. Treat this like wasabi. You don't want to overdo it, but you want each bite to get that flavor. So I think this part really makes this sandwich in my opinion. You lay the rib right on top. Get your onions that were soaking and drained. Just gather those. And some pickle coverage. And that's it. That's my version of the McRib, Chasu McRib. All right, let's give it a try. It's like salty, sweet. The mustard really comes through, shoots right up your nose, and the pickles really make it taste like McDonald's. For the recipe, click the link below. And also, feel free to visit me at Bonnie's whenever we're open, hopefully soon. 